What is that little thing right there? Well, good morning, folks. I'm heading over to the farm. It's rained last night. It's rained every day for the last week. But um, we're going to work on Dad's sprayer a little bit. The Oxbow people are coming to get the Oxbow. So we're going to do an interview with one of them guys. And then what else are we doing? Probably going to fly the drone around, look at some flood damage. Because the river's out. I don't know how bad it's out yet. It keeps raining, so I'm sure it's getting bigger. But it's kind of what we're into this morning. Looks like a high cat is uh, still working on Dad's combine. They uh, we do a PMI on uh, the machines every other year. Dad's had a few parts come back. Had to put some cylinder bars on it and a few other things. So getting it ready for wheat. But I mean, all this water standing here says we're not doing wheat anytime soon. Hopefully in this next week. But man, it's wet. Like I said, they are taking that thing today. It sucks because it rained like every day that that thing was here almost. But. Uh, oh well, we did get a spray one whole day with it. I think that sprayed around seven or eight hundred acres with it, so he should have a pretty decent opinion for him. But had it not rained, we probably would have sprayed all of our beans with it too. Eighty-one. This is one. Three inches, three inches more. Okay. It looks longer for some reason. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot longer. Looks, yeah, three inches. I'll be all right, guys, we just filmed a walk around video for the sprayer. I'll put a card to that video right now. Uh, you can check it out. It's a pretty good overview of. What the square has all the options and that kind of stuff. Uh, right now we gotta rinse the booms out. As like I said, this sprayer is going on to another demo, so I'm gonna fill that up and then dad and I are gonna put some cameras in his sprayer. See if we can help the uh uh ag guys with the combine any. And then it looks like we're gonna get rained on. Hasn't rained for like six hours. fan noise on that thing. So, I mean, it's noisy, probably noisier than the miller, but it's a different kind of noise. Well, our tech from Farmer's Edge is here. He's going to help us transfer some data out of the sprayer so we can get that into our uh, into our computer program. But that's one nice thing I like about Farmer's Edge. Um, I don't know how to do that, and they're going to help us do that. I don't think it's very hard, but just don't have much experience with it. Yep. I think one of the bearings is out. Yeah. With this case planter, it has four sections. Each section has its own drive. Well, if you, uh, if you missed that last video, this section quit planting on it. So now we've got to try to figure out why. Each unit has a sprocket on it on, on the drive shaft for that section. That turns, and that's what drives the planter. Uh, we think we probably have one of those sprockets. The bearings are out in it, or something along those lines. My problem is there's a uh, was there seven or eight on each unit or each section, and if it's not one of the outside ones, this is going to be a really fun job full of working words. It wobbles, huh? Let's get some wobble to it. I bet they all got wobbles for the pry, but it don't seem bad. All right, looks like the one that is bad, the sprocket that we think is bad, is uh, this one up here. But, uh, it's third or fourth unit in, so we've got to slide that shaft all the way out this way. So we can get to that unit and uh, replace it, and hopefully that fixes it. How well is that working? What do you think? <laughs> hey, Mike's Brian Brown. How you doing today? Hey, I uh, need some planter parts for a 1240 uh, planter. Uh, number is four one three. Seven one two 
A1. You don't have it? <laughs> Alright, thanks. What Tuesday. Tuesday! A couple working words there. Alright, it's pretty windy. I was gonna take the drone, fly down through the bottom, see how much water we got in the field, but I think it's too windy to do that right now. In fact, I just about had the camera blow off the sprayer stuff. But right now, I've gotta change shirts. Because we are install installing a Dakota Micro product on that sprayer. Now, one thing I do want to mention about Dakota Micro, or I usually just call them ag cams, they make ag cams. Uh, the way I came into this relationship with them, uh, it's one of the things I like about it. I was already interested in their product. I was actually calling the manufacturer about a question I had before I purchased one of their cameras. So uh, then we ended up deforming a relationship and uh, they've been a great company to work with. So, But on to the camera. Dad actually started installing it uh, already, I believe. So it's no longer in the box, unfortunately. Give him a box full of goodies and he just couldn't resist. And we've got the nine inch screen over there on the window. It's on a suction cup mount. I don't have where that's gonna work. Yeah. Think it'll fall for? I don't know if it falls, it's just wiggling around. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Yeah. I'm gonna try it, see? Yeah. If nothing else, we'll cobble up some kind of mounting bracket, I'm sure. This hooks into the that, <clears throat> and these are for more cameras. Looks like it'll hold four cameras. As you can tell, we read the directions. That is one thing we are starting to run out of is uh, 12 volt accessory places. Right now we have one for the climate, so there's an iPad charger. We have one for the Midland radio, so there's another 12 volt. And then he has a satellite radio, which that's another 12 volt. And now this thing, which is another 12 volt. Yeah, for my phone charger. Why do you run your phone charger through your uh, Midland? It's all fiberglass. Fiber. Yeah, put it right there. Put it right there. I got muffler will get too hot. Put it over here on this side. Put it over here. We'll see what we got there. Alright, so now we gotta run some cable to the cab. Um, trying to figure out how we're gonna route that to where it's nice and birdie. Yes. For now, we're just going to hook this up pretty temporary just to make sure it's going to perform in that spot. This ain't going to work. Got the same end. Hey, got the wrong end. But uh, we're going to make sure this is going to work in this location and then if it does, in theory, we're going to make the wires look pretty. In reality, they're probably going to stay here. Does it say which one's number one? Yeah, they're marked right there's a notch that it lines up in. Okay, you plug this into this here. Plug that into this down here for now. Turn the switch on. There we are. There we want it. Looks good. Uh, I don't know if you can point it down a little more, see what happens. Just go back and tilt it down a little and see what happens. That good? Right here. Yeah, come back. I'll have to come up with something else here. There's the view. Don't have good any, picture. Don't have any excuses if you back into anything now. Like I said, until uh, we make sure that that exhaust isn't going to cause any problems with the cable. I know the camera will be fine. If you don't know, Dakota Micros are pretty indestructible, which is one of the reasons I always chose them. Here, corner of that. Tie it. Come up along the frame. Uh, it's caught on something, Dad. It's on this air tank. Okay, that's okay. Hold on down. Looks like it'll rub a hole in well. Now, if we were doing this real purdy, 
there is a hole right there for wires to go in for like your auto steer and stuff but it's kind of a pain in the butt to do and dad says it's a winter job so keep going Oh, that camera system is installed. Turns out the Oxbow is not leaving today like I thought it was I said earlier. Uh, the place that we're going to take it, it's extremely wet there. It's only a couple miles down the road, so uh, I think it's going to roll out of here as soon as that person can spray. I don't think we're going to spray anymore with it. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farming Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms. Eventually we're going to be doing some wheat, but it's got to get dry.